Hello and good morning from a leafy suburb of Edinburgh. It's the 21st of June 2019, which means it's summer solstice. I'm off well camping on West Lomond later today. I'm going to meet up with Ray, who's renegade Scott. But first, I just need to get a shift at work out of the way. So uh, I'll bring you back later on. That wasn't too bad, a shift at work. It's just after two, I'm just walking back to my car. I thought I'd do a detour though through the Dean village and I've got the water leaf here. If you're ever in the, the centre of Edinburgh, this is like literally a 10 minute walk away from the West End, it's really worth visiting. And there's a, an art gallery up here as well. But it's just weird that this is 10 minutes away from the centre of Edinburgh. And it's just a bit of an oasis of calm. You can see kingfishers and grey herons and other bits of wildlife here. Escape the wind. It took us about an hour to get up here, but it's, um, it's a westerly blown in, and uh, just managed to get a bit of respite here. It's got another five hours to, sun to sunset. I'm just going to find somebody to pitch the tents, I think, and then have a little scout around and see what it's about. Raymundo was just doing his vlog as well there. A pair of YouTube dafties. Just scouting for somewhere to set up the tents. It's quite sheltered here, but it's really tussocky underfoot. But I might do. A bit better here, Ray. So almost contoured around the whole hill and couldn't find it anywhere. So we're back up just off the, the summit there and we found somewhere. Still in the wind, but it's not too bad at all. So. Uh, I'm quite excited because I've got my new tent. It is the Six Moons Designs Lunar Solo, and I've not used it yet. Managed to pitch it in the garden, that's about it. So, this will be my first proper while camping it. So, I shall feed back how I find it. Right, let's see how I got on with this first pitch then. From what I gather from watching other YouTube videos is you pitch the rear pegs out first and then you put up the front one with the pole which is set 125 centimetres and then you put up the two side ones from the front so we'll see how that goes. So here's a pole I prepared earlier. Right. I've brought my Alp kit pegs with me with the titanium extra large. But Alp kit don't seem to make these ones anymore. Which is a shame because they're really good. They seem to grip everything. Right, so need the first two pegs up first. There's the door. My initial thoughts with this tent is um, the straps don't feel very comprehensive. I much prefer Dyneema with the, the line locks. Similar to the trail staff. So now I'm going to open the door up. Set 125 centimetres. There's a little brass uh, hole here for the trekking pole or the poles you buy for it. And it just goes in there. And then 
This is where practice makes perfect because obviously I've got this side of the door taut but this is really flappy. Not too shabby for a first pitch I think. Well, ah, uh, I'm doing it wrong. I should be using this. Hopefully this will help. Similar to the trail star that way. Again, I'll try and centre that right down. So there's a little mechanism here. And then this just clips onto that and you slide that down. Hey, hey, that's much better. What a difference. Yes, we're in business. So there we go. So this is inside the Lunar, as you can see it's a single skin but it has the luxury of the mesh so it's ideal for mid-season and that is the primary reason why I bought it because obviously the tarp um, can get a bit midgy and I haven't bought an inner for it So dinner tonight is... I've got one of these mountain house ones This has been in my cupboard since 2017 I've been avoiding it and I just thought given this is just a, a quick day I may as well just use it up now so it's a potato salmon and a dill sauce it might actually be really nice so there we go dinner is served a wee cheeky innocent gun to wash it down mmm that's good not keen on this though to be fair um, the potatoes have a funny texture to them they don't taste like real potatoes Mm. Not feeling this at all. You're getting hints of salmon through it, but nah, I wouldn't be buying that again. Forty minutes to sunset, longest day of 2019, summer solstice. Mondo doing a bit of vlogging there as well. There's a few others that have came up to join us, not intentionally. Well there you have it. Summer Solstice 2019, done and dusted. Tomorrow night you can do the old joke that the, the nights are fair drawn in. <laughs> oh my god, it's cold. It is bloody freezing. Summer Solstice, my arse. That's us both retiring to our tents. It's too cold. That freeze dry meal wasn't very filling. It's always important to keep yourself fueled so you're warm at night. So I'm stocking up and I'll finish it off with a nice wee nightcap. It's a Glen Livet 18 year old. Should be quite nice. Anyway, I'll catch us in the morning. Oh, good morning, campers. It's about quarter to six and I'm now wide awake. What was it? Woken up by the meadow pipettes about, oh, must have been a bit back and forth. Should have got up because that was around about the same time as uh, sunrise, but ugh, couldn't be bored. It was about 8 degrees during the night, so uh, not exactly summer. <laughs> First impressions of the, the tent though, I do like it. A wee bit more noisy than the, the trail star, but the trail star is hard to beat when it comes to um, shedding wind. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using this again. I would um, definitely recommend one if you're after a single skin, lightweight tent with midge protection. As for the uh, condensation, non-existent. Obviously it's been a decent breeze most of the night, so uh, maybe a different story in a camera day. 
as you can see there, you get a lot of ventilation coming in there. Just getting breakfast on the go now. We just had a visitor to our, our campsite, none other than um, Steaming Boots, aka Scotland's Mountains. He's a friend of Ray's who's got a good boiler, nice chap. Just the usual, no porridge bag. I'm just going to get packed up now. But I thought I'd just give you one last little tour of the tent. You can see here that both the doors pin back. So if it's a really nice night, you can get this nice open view, similar to a tarp. to go. So we were camped up there and rather than just walking all the way back this way, what we've done is we've dropped down here, come down to the reservoirs track back to the car that way just to make a, a nicer route that's uh, me back at the car now uh, it's just after nine o'clock so we've got a bit of time to kill just now before I meet up with Ray and Terry for another camping trip tonight in their secret woodland I don't know I don't think I'm going to vlog this one I think I'll just uh, enjoy the evening just in case there's more karaoke <laughs> But anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and uh, leave a comment down below if you wish. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Yeah.